Hi, I'm Bill Dickerson. Welcome to another episode of LVI TV, your weekly dental news source. This week we start with a sad case in Austria. A four-year-old girl went to the dentist to have her decayed primary teeth removed under general anesthesia. During surgery, she suffered a lung spasm and died. According to reports, she was two when the pediatrician urged her mother twice to consult a dentist because her teeth were in such dire condition. Although the mother acknowledged that her child's teeth were in poor condition, she didn't take her to the dentist because she had not complained about any pain. She said the little girl had consumed a great deal of sweet foods and sweet beverages. The medical examiner observed that the girl's teeth roots were completely rotten. The mother was sentenced to five months and the father to seven months imprisonment for negligence. The lawsuit against the responsible doctor has been settled and the facts are unknown. The World Health Organization says that although it varies among different parts of the world, dental caries affects an estimated 60 to 90 percent of the school children as well as the vast majority of adults worldwide. As sad as that news is, there is good news on the horizon that might prevent this horrible tragedy from ever happening again. How? By eating candy. That's right, candy. We all know that the predominant caries causing bacteria is Streptococcus mutans. We brush our teeth to knock out these cavity-causing bacteria. But research has found that when rats were given another bacteria called Lactobacillus paracase, it reduced the level of Streptococcus mutans. They believe that it does this by preventing the bad bacteria from reattaching to the teeth, causing it to get washed away by the saliva. In Berlin, Organo Balance, a biotechnology company, recently conducted a short-term pilot study involving 60 subjects. A sugar-free candy containing heat-killed samples of Lactobacillus paracase were given to half the subjects and a placebo without the bacteria given to the other half. The candy was consumed four times after each meal over 1.5 consecutive days. Throughout the experiment, participants were asked not to perform any oral hygiene activities or consume coffee, tea, wine, or probiotic foods such as yogurt or cheese. Obviously, no kissing occurred either. The researchers found that the test group immediately had significantly reduced levels of salivary streptococcus mutans compared with the placebo group. They concluded that the lactobacillus paracase has the potential to reduce caries without adding any new or additional risk factors. This is exciting news for candy lovers like me. So what do you think about what I think? Let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode of this fascinating dental news source. This is Bill Dickerson. I'll see you next time on LVI TV.